Hello everyone, my name is Eric and welcome to my channel, Eric's Adventure Lab. So in today's video I will be replacing the reverse lights here and here on the Lexus and then the two uh, license plate lights with LEDs. So it should be a pretty easy process. Join me and I'll show you guys how to do it. In order to get to the uh, reverse and license plate lights we're going to have to remove uh, this rear panel here. So it cuts off here. So I'm just going to use a plastic trim removal tool and get rid of this whole thing. Taking this rear panel off, uh, you gotta get this handle, you gotta pull these little tabs out like this. These are basically like little locking tabs. And then uh, just basically grab the handle and give it a nice firm pull and it's just plastic locking tabs. So that's pretty easy to take off. Um, next one is to remove this. This is where your toolkit is. So this panel slides it like this. Grab your toolkit and slide this out. And then you should be able to start removing it. I've got these plastic trim removal tools. So I'll just kind of start on the outside and work your way around. Once you have the rear panel uh, removed to uh, update the lights, I've got these VLEDs. Uh, so this is for the reverse lights. And then I've got the two little ones for the license plate lights. So just kind of peel back on this blue plastic that's on here. This is basically just to kind of protect it from water. So right here is your one and this is your other and then these two right up in here are your two um license plate lights so these connectors just kind of squeeze and pull they should come out so and then once you've got this you basically just have to turn it and not break it so you turn this counterclockwise and slide it out and this is just your bulb so new one old one led versus halogen it's going to make a huge difference in terms of light output and uh there should be no specific way to mount these but um i will definitely check before closing this all up so slide the new one in slide it in rotate clockwise until it clicks yeah. And there's also an arrow on these that should point upward and pop this in. So super easy. Um, now let's get this top one. Let's get rid of this goop. And to remove it counterclockwise. And these in here, you squeeze Okay, so you might need a screwdriver for this. So, uh, you push the little pin and it pushes up. Yep, uh, there's a little plastic pin that you push and then these again just turn them and they should come out hopefully it's kind of tight in here And then for the other one, you gotta stick your hand in through here because the connector is facing the outside of the door. Um, squeeze and pull it out. It's kind of a 
a little pain in the butt, but here we go. This one's out as well. And to get the lights, the housings, I think you just gotta twist them. pull out so yeah here's the old bulb here's the new one I'm replacing it with I will be putting all the part numbers that I am using in this video description so if you are interested you could look it up uh, the company is called VLEDs and they make some good stuff uh, I made another video about replacing the taillight bulbs uh, and a comparison of the stock halogen versus the other ones Makes a, makes a world of a difference. I ended up breaking one of the bulbs, but that kind of made it easier to pull it out. So if you're having trouble, I put it in basically in a plastic bag, use some pliers and try to squeeze. And if it breaks, it breaks. Basically just try to pull this out this way. And this is what I did. So basically squeeze it till it breaks. So I've broken here, everything's going to stay in and then shake out all the stuff, grab it from the inside. And hopefully it comes out in one piece. Otherwise you might have some problems like I am right now. Oh man. Of course it worked on accident the first time and now All right so yeah there we go i pulled it out it's clean and everything's in the bag all the broken uh bulbs now put the new ones in and it's gonna be time to test these out and make sure they work so here it is so now i'm gonna put these back in where they are actually before I put them in I will plug the connectors in and test them out so we can see these LEDs work great and then uh, I checked the reverse lights, they do work. You'll just have to trust me on this one. And yeah, now time to button it all back up. Reinstallation is the same as taking them out. Slide these in, turn them until they click. You gotta use some pliers to kind of get in there and make sure they're fully uh, in the correct spot, do that. Don't use too much force. There you go. I got a fat hand, so kind of need to do that. And then same with this one. So not too much force. And then uh, these other ones are installed. I checked that they work. And now I'm just kind of push this back into place. It doesn't got to be in the same exact spot it was before, but you can kind of see where the black film is and where this goop was. This basically just provides kind of like a vapor barrier to protect all your electronics. Just kind of push it back on. It should stick pretty well. And yeah. This is how you install some aftermarket LED lights onto your GX470. So, thanks for joining me today. Uh, like the video if you learned something. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. And uh, have a good day.